The Radovians are coming, and Derek can't count on Talis anymore. Now he needs his lords to help him out with soldiers and resources. Most of your lords will give you a quest to complete before they have you. Some of them have their conflicts with other lords, and in those situations, you can only ally with one of the rivals. I'm going to start by telling you how you can get the alliance of people who have individual stories, and later I will talk about how to ally with the people who have rivalries with other lords. Lady Ada. First one is Lady Ada. You can meet her before the wedding. When she visits you, she tells you that she was scammed by a guy. Your quest to get her support is to imprison the guy she describes, a guy in a green shirt and dirty apron and a hat, and invite her again and uh, hand him over to her. Masha. Next one is Masha. Masha gives you a very similar quest. You need a guy with red gloves and uh, hand him over to her the same way you did with Lady Ada. Next one is Pietro. Pietro will visit you from time to time to tell you that he thinks somebody is after him. All you need to do to get his support is imprison him. For real. When you go visit him in the dungeon, he will tell you that he feels a lot safer now and he gives you his support. The next one is Vialit. Remember that Radovian guy from the beginning of the game? Unless you have let him go, you can ally with Vialit. If you killed the Radovian, that's fine with her. If you imprisoned him, you now need to hand him over, and if you do, she becomes your ally. Next one is Lady Lena. To ally with Lady Lena, you need to promise her son Ocelia's hand, and as long as you maintain that promise, she will support you. The next one is Grego. When you first meet Grego, he will tell you that he wants one of your paintings for his art collection. Later, you will find out that he has more sinister reasons, but either way, you just need to give him the painting of the stork to ally with him. Now let's talk about the lords who have connected backstories. Let's talk about Joanne, Sir Friedrich and Noaxi. When you invite Jovan, he will tell you that the only way he will ally with you, if Sir Frederick also joins. So you need to invite Sir Frederick now. He will tell you about the third lord in the story, Noaxe. Sir Frederick wants to expose that all of his stories about his adventures and the monsters he killed are lies. To do that, he wants you to have him set up a trap, Noaxe. You will need to send him to the forest to look for an imaginary monster. In this story, you will need to choose between Sir Frederick and Noaxe. In the end, you will be able to ally with Jovan no matter which one you choose. When Noaxe arrives, you can warn him about Sir Frederick's plan and ally with him this way. If you send him to the forest, he will return a bit later and Sir Frederick will also arrive. At this point, you can choose between the two. As for Jovan, I don't want to spoil the game that much, but he will commit a crime and if you choose not to punish him, he will become your ally. The next story where two lords are connected is the story of Lords and Aton. Their story revolves around a drug called the Oracle Dust. Aton is involved in the trade of the drug and if you let him continue it, he will become your ally. To ally with Lords, who is opposed to the drug trade, you will need to stand up to Aton and imprison people selling dust. If you want to, you can ally with all of the lords except for two, depending on what you are willing to do for them. More yes, your guest tutorials are coming in the future, subscribe if you don't want to miss them. If you have questions about the game, share it in the comments and I might even make a new video about it. And if you would like to know how to investigate Talis' death, I also have a video about that linked on the screen and in the description. See you next time.